Most of the time, animated movies have left us wanting to dress up in the cutest, cuddliest costumes. Others, though, just left us scarred for life. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. Today, we're going through our picks of the top 10 deaths in animated movies that made us cry more out of fear than sadness. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more spine-tingling videos. Whenever anyone says animated movie, you think of kid-friendly, heartwarming films. However, sometimes there are animated movies that feature death scenes that make us think twice whether those movies were really meant for kids. Spoiler alert, this video contains lots of spoilers that you may still want to know before letting your kids watch these films. Starting off at number 10, we have Agatha Prendergast from Paranorman. Agatha Prendergast, or Aggie, is the main antagonist of the movie Paranorman. Her ghost hunts the town of Blythe Hallow, Massachusetts, which has also been plagued with her curse since her death 300 years ago. Initially introduced as an evil, malevolent witch, it was later revealed that Aggie was actually but a sweet, innocent girl who was sentenced to death because she was different. In a heart-wrenching flashback scene, you will see young Aggie telling the seven judges who executed her that she was only just playing. Because she can see and talk to ghosts, poor Aggie was accused of witchcraft and, later on, hanged to die at the age of 11. No wonder she became a vengeful spirit after her death. At number 9, we have Edwina from Chicken Run. Still holding the record as the highest grossing stop-motion animated film, Chicken Run is a 2000 comedy movie about a band of chickens planning to escape their farm. Unfortunately for her, Edwina did not live long enough to join the escape. At the beginning of the film, poor Edwina was singled out by the farm owners, Mr. and Mrs. Tweedy. The reason? Because she couldn't lay eggs and was, therefore, no longer useful to them. Mr. Tweedy grabs Edwina by the neck and then hands her over to his wife, who then brings the hen to a shed and kills her with an axe. Though her death happens off-screen, it was later on hinted that she ended up as the Tweedy's dinner. At number 8, we have Redline from Cars 2. A clear favorite among little boys, the first Cars movie tells of the heartfelt story of how the selfish but talented Lightning McQueen learns about the value of humility and friendship. Its 2011 sequel, Cars 2, takes a sharp turn, as it turns out, into an action-packed thriller about espionage, like James Bond but literally on wheels. Unlike the first movie, Cars 2 gets pretty dark quite early on, with an opening sequence revealing the spy road torque red light being questioned and tortured. In horrifying detail, the evil Professor Z explains how Redline is tortured with the toxic gas alanol. Essentially, they are boiling and burning Redline from the inside until he bursts into flames and breathes his last. At number 7, we have Dr. Fasilier. The Princess and the Frog. Dr. Facilier, aka the Shadow Man, is the voodoo villain of the 2009 Disney movie, The Princess and the Frog. This evil, smooth talking witch doctor was literally dragged to hell after being unable to pay his deaths to his friends on the other side. After Tiana breaks his talisman, his once loyal demonic friend started singing while dragging him down with them, ignoring his pleas for more time. Some covers the screen and later clears away to reveal a gravestone with his name and frightened face on it. Making it to number 6, we have Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. In true Tim Burton fashion, Nightmare Before Christmas is one of those films that manages to take something fun and festive and turn it into a bizarre, macabre experience. But the Christmas and horror combination is such a delightful trait that this sweet and funny movie remains to be a favorite among kids and adults alike. But some parts of the movie can be a little too dark for the toddler set, such as when the movie's main antagonist, Oogie Boogie or the Boogeyman, finally meets his demise. On this scene, Jack pulls a thread loose off to Oogie Boogie, who then comes a part of the seams. 
creepy crawlies start falling off off him into the stew and die. Ew, I think I just lost my appetite. Next up at number 5 we have Judge Frollo, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. This judge and minister of justice, Claude Frollo, is the main villain in the Disney animated favorite, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Judge Frollo is a delusional religious zealot obsessed with getting rid of the sinners of Paris, the gypsies being the number one on his list. This obsession drives him to perform acts of violence using his loyalty to God as justification. Near the end of the film, as Frollo tries to kill Quasimodo and Esmeralda, Frollo is seen standing on a gargoyle after Quasimodo saved his life. As Frollo raises his sword to kill Esmeralda, the gargoyle he was on the cracks, sending him screaming to his death as he falls into a lake of fire and molten copper. At number 4 we have Charlie B. Barkin, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Charlie Barkin is the main protagonist of the 1996 American musical comedy, All Dogs Go to Heaven. Although for the most part, the movie is lighthearted and funny. The scene on Charlie's death wasn't as amusing. After Charlie escapes from the pound, Killer and Carface talk to Charlie and get him to attend a fake good luck party. Here, Charlie gets drunk and is tricked into waiting by a dock with a blindfold on. To wait for the big surprise, much to our horror, Killer and Carface are then seen pushing a car, running it into Charlie, killing him. Talk about evil. Before we get to the top 3 most horrific deaths in animated movies, here's an honorable mention. The Other Mother, Coraline. Also referred to as the Beldum, which basically means hag or witch, the Other Mother is the evil witch who was responsible for creating the other world in the 2009 animated film Coraline. Based on the dark fantasy book by Neil Gaiman, this stop-motion horror film has received critical acclaim and ranks third as the highest grossing stop-motion film of all time. The Other Mother, who is the main antagonist, is a shape-shifting demon who first appears in the movie as an eerie, tidier doppelganger of Coraline's mom with button eyes. The Beldum later transforms into a taller, skinnier, scarier version of herself before she finally assumes her true form. Near the end of the film, she turns into a skeletal spider-like monster with metallic legs and hands made of needles. The only reason the other mother didn't make it to the list is that she didn't technically die. However, Coraline did manage to trap her in the other world and her severed hand in the old well in the woods. We just wish it doesn't manage to climb up and out of the well and go fall on Sadako on us. Back to our list at number 3, Countless Dead Rabbits from Watership Down. Following the story of a group of rabbits on a journey to find a new home, this adaptation of Richard Adams is like a rabbity version of The Lord of the Rings on Drugs. Years after its release in 1978, this animated film made its way into the unsuspecting living rooms of chocolate-filled kids watching at home with their families on the Easter Sunday of 2016. This angered a lot of parents, with one distressed Twitter user saying, Who the hell thought it was a good idea to put Watership down on Easter Sunday? Hey kids, let's watch Dead Easter Bunnies. For years, Watership Down has traumatized children and adults alike, with brutal and haunting scenes of rabbits suffocating as they are buried alive and red-eyed bunnies ripping each other's throats out. At number 2, we have Clayton from Tarzan. The main villain of the 1999 animated Disney film Tarzan, Clayton fell to his death after his plan to capture and sell gorillas failed miserably. During the film's climax, while Tarzan and Clayton were fighting, Clayton gets trapped in vines and starts frantically hacking away at them. He slashes every one of them, not noticing one loop coiled around his neck. Despite Tarzan's warnings, Clayton continues to slash away until he falls rapidly toward the ground. This isn't the first time Disney has done this. Villains fall into their death. Most of the time though, 
The villains kind of just falls off camera, never really showing the kids the body like what happened to Judge Frodo. Clayton was an exception to this. After his fall, you see a shot of his machete on the ground and then Tarzan landing in front of it. Lightning flashes, which then casts the shadow of Clayton's lifeless body hanging from the vine loose he accidentally created for himself. Finally, down to number one, and it's from a movie you're not gonna want your kids to see. At number one, the entire movie, Felly Day. What? What the fuck? Felly Day is one of those films that prove that you should never judge a book by its cover or a movie by its poster. Lesson learned, at least read the synopsis and reviews. At first glance, this movie looks like your typical kitty cat family adventure movies like The Aristocrats. But don't let its Disney-like art and animation fool you. Because Felly Day was clearly never meant to be seen by children. This adult-themed animation features cats doing things that cats actually do, like fight, defecate, and have sex. But this is nothing like Animal Planet, as it dramatically shows you scenes of cats getting raped and brutally murdered. A lot of these are particularly disturbing and difficult to watch. In one scene, you see cat corpses with their throats torn out. In another, you see a female cat's head separated from its body. Another scene features dozens of dead cats stung up like puppets. One more scene shows the body of a dead pregnant cat, her throat torn and stomach ripped open. The list goes on. This movie is so extremely nasty, violent, and genuinely terrifying that it's hardly debatable that it lands the top spot on this list. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Which of these deaths left you traumatized as a kid? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Bestest, and make sure to hit that bell to access more of our videos. Thank you for watching, and until our next Bestest video.